Previously. And now we continue. Hey there, Phantom Thieves! Hey, welcome back to the Persona 5 Strikers! Alright, so the last part, apparently we went into the quote-unquote metaverse, but it isn't really the metaverse, but actually is the metaverse. Kinda weird! So, Alice, you know, mm, Alice has been doing some no-no shit. We gotta find out how, and then go back into the metaverse and kick her shadow's ass and change her heart. So let's go talk to Futaba first. Futaba, what you got for me? What do you got for me? Mm, I see. What do you see? What? But how? I mean, with this over here? Damn. So that's it. Uh, Futaba's really got into analyzing Sophia. Well, that's a little so creepy. what do you think, Futaba? How Sophia's code look? While her programmer is a genius, no doubt about that, you can figure a person out by their code, and not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Ooh, that's a serious program. I don't understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma old hat. Old hat? When something was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes old hat. It's a saying people don't really use anymore. Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? While we're at it, did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? <sighs> Nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. Uh, well, you got the Futaba. You're literally the best hacker I know. Crack it yet. Oh, hello, Kamara. Well, Does folks, me? time for me to make like a tree. And... leave? She made... like a tree? Yeah, it's something that nobody really says anymore, but you, you get the idea. We said goodnight to Futaba and then head to bed ourselves. If you call that fucking bed, it's like, th it's like three crates and a bed sheet. That's... So uncomfortable, what the fuck? Boy, was that a hell of a day. You I never that would have imagined something like this would happen. Oh, I hear you're there. I wasn't expecting you're this. You're standing. Especially on a summer vacation. But that just might mean you're going to see some trouble again soon. Uh, a lot of trouble. Emma, this new metaverse? A mountain of mysteries sure is piling up fast. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Did you call for me? We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery, says the talking cat. Ha! <laughs> uh, good point. Wait, I don't have to take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? That is... inarguably true. Aw, oh, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... <laughs> uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Hearts? Uh, right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people and be a good companion to them. I guess. The human heart. Look, just, just don't worry about it. All you need to do is join us and learn from all the kinds of people we need. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal. Okay, that is a decent deal. Especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep. So long as it's good with our leader. 
Yeah, I'm down with it. Thank you, leader, boss, captain. What about Senpai? And then it's a deal. Believe we got Senpai! Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. We should get some rest. Okay. Good night, Morgana. Yep, day 26. So are we gonna do like the other persona stuff? Where like we're gonna like uh, uh, I, I guess not. Wait, why are we oh. Okay, so I guess we can't go to the other hideout, I guess. Okay. Great. Everyone's here. Yep, we're all we're here. going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? Hell yeah, We've we're done ready. This many a time. I can't imagine anyone being phased by this. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bring it. We're very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? Um, no. We just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to choose our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Let's do this thing. You've entered the metaverse. Well, did we make it? Your phantom thief attire. Yeah, you too. Oh, I'd forgotten this feeling. The fusion of form and function. Truly magnificent. Look, it's Beauty Thief! My name is Beauty Thief! Uh, no, absolutely fucking not. Let's not fool around here. I admit, though, these clothes do bring back some memories. Oh, well, they do. We can reminisce later. Take the a right look at that. The oh, you so like you this like a good back scratch, you know, you like a good back scratch. What is that building? This place is bonkers. Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. The first time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? The hell was up with that? That may have been a desire. Yo, Phantom Thieves! Yo, Sophia! Ah, Sophia! Holy crap, an actual AI in human form! Wow, you're so cute, Sophia! Such a fascinating form you've taken. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. I've never seen an outfit like that. Can I try floofing it? Floofing? I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. Uh, no floofing. By the by, how does H work for an AI? Not right now. Sophia, tell us more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, seize their desires, and we must offer these desires to the monarch. Based on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jail. But these desires, are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things. What use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped could tell us something. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. I don't know. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked, are you sure they were humans? What do you mean? 
Couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue. Now there's a point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. Shadows. What are shadows? A shadow's the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. It's basically just your other self. Does that mean their main selves are all right? No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. So if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. Are they trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? Then how are we to act? It sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No. That was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Right. We need to get the story straight before we make any real moves, or we'll just be doing damage. Look at the fuck into all this. Let's see, let's see exactly Guys. what she's been doing. Uh, but what are we gonna do? Get dirt. Watching some random store opening probably only works once. Let's say we get into that once we're out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. Really? We're not gonna. No <laughs> combat? No nothing? Wow, so we just went into the metaverse for no reason. No combat, no nothing. We literally just came here for no reason. Can you believe that, Camaro? Can you believe that? My, cat, my cat's like literally laying on top of me. I'm taking a quick nap. Yep, yep, look at it. Taking a quick nap. He's getting a little. Well, uh, we've confirmed the presence in. of the jail. Looking his, uh, Next, we look I into Alice that's his and any leg. potential victims. Yeah, yeah, that's your leg. <laughs> look at me like, yeah, that's my leg. I'm, I am clean my leg. What? My leg's a little dark. The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice? Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. Oh, oh now he's now he's uh I've got the web doing that thing to clean his ears, looking at the But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of all. any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. Uh. Uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. What? For real? How? Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah! Way to go, Lady Anne! But I'm not making any promises about it. And there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. <laughs> Looks like I was volunteer. Fuck, I hate being main character. Well, that settles that. We're counting on you. Well, that was shit when you meet her so you can get some evidence out of her. Oh, I got covered. Ooh, you really are ready for this. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees me. For today, let's focus on her potential victims. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's some dirt on, uh, on some of them Alice lovers. Someone's gone know exactly what she's really been up to. Let's go. Gathering intel. Okay, so let's snoop around. Begin investigation. Alright, see, uh... Go oh. Central Street. Huh? Uh, dude, I think I just found someone that was in the jail. Can someone come? Can you come to the alley behind the airsoft shop? Uh, of course, yeah, sure. Before that, ooh, the little girl, Alice. Of course, I've heard of her. Everyone in class has, especially the boys. They love her. My friend's boyfriend even went as far as breaking off their relationship, all because he took a sudden interest in Alice. I know she's cute and all. But cute enough to leave someone behind? Huh. Oh, here they are. Come on, man. I just need money, please. Again? 
I just lent you money for all your Owl's Obsessed bullshit. I know, but there's a new Owl's Original coming out and I really, really need it. Like, I won't be able to even think or breathe if I don't get it. Huh? This guy with brown hair. Same guy we saw before, right? Dude, weird. Why are you so suddenly interested and obsessed over some random ass idol in the first place? Are you serious though? You actually went to a loan shark? Oh, I can't believe you. <sighs> huh? So he's borrowing money from shady lenders, only to get shady merchandise in return. That ain't normal. And didn't the other guy say he suddenly got obsessed? Could it be? Influence in the metaverse. So she's influencing Shadows in the metaverse to... Oh, bitch, are you serious? Oh, bitch, really? Are you... Oh, okay, I hope Alice gets you. So she's hmm? influencing people in the metaverse. Alice, you're so freaking adorable! No one can ever compare to you! I I'll do anything for you! Buy your fancy jewelry, take her to the five restaurants, I'd stop my life over to you if I could! Hmm? This guy's completely lost it. They can't see us. Oh, oh, I never knew cats could see! Bless you! I've heard of being quick for someone, but this, this is way too far. Bless you. It was, it was dusty in here, isn't it? I heard some intriguing news. It seems there's a store in Central City that carries clothing from Al's brand. Perhaps we can gain some information there. You mean this store right here? <laughs> you mean this shit? Welcome! Alice Higaragi. Oh, you mean the Al's clothing line? Why, yes, we do carry it. But I'm so sorry. We're all sold out. Well, we put them up 10 minutes ago, but fans came in and swept them all up. I'm so sorry that you missed really? it. Really? Wow, gone 10 minutes? I guess it's possible the fans really have dedication to play it out so fast. I should remember this. Oh, oh really? Well, actually, that was easy. Fuck. That was, that was easy as hell. How's the information search going? Why don't we meet up and share what we've gathered what so far? What are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Gather everybody up. So my so guess. So how'd it go? Oh. Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah, like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fat, but... This seems so much worse than that. Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help. It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Would you like to investigate her next? Yeah, that's right. Yep, let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks, we're on it. Um, Papa, I made it all the way back to the block. Okay, so why get, why guess is that Alice was taking people's hearts and like desires in the metaverse and making them go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs in the real world. So they all be like, oh my gosh, oh, Alice, I love you. Don't be too late coming back. I don't worry, Will. Hmm, boss, this curry is Hey, it's the new back. guy! Oh. Hey! Thanks. It's a new character. And, uh, it's one of those things where like, I kind of wish it didn't like show like who he so was in the trailer. So this is going out loud, Cause now it's huh? like, okay, so right now you're definitely gonna to join us at some nervous. point. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. A pet? Oh, behave yourself in there. Oh, well, I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. 
We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Uh. Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No prob. Ooh, here she comes. <coughs> Miss Alice Burp. on the set! Oh my gosh, fucking, ugh! Crap. Fucking Twitch stream. Oh, it looks like that, um, adorable. like one of those Twitch streamers that filled the bath water. Back in five, four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in a shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating rumors? Uh, uh... <sighs> what? Thing? I wonder what's wrong. Are you okay? Uh, Alice, I... I love you, Alice. Please, spend your life with me. What? Uh, hey, what is all this, huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you. Uh, this is really out of the blue. Alright, stop it! <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. I mean it! I can't live without you! What? What, what in the hell? And what about me, asshole? Is this real? Those two are engaged already, right? Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. Cut the commercial! Now! I'm begging you! Alice! Please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What is this mess? <laughs> oh, bitch of evil. That's an evil bitch smile. They can't the film on the spot as quick everyone said. Yeah, that's less evil bitch smile. The evil bitch is on the loose. That... That was actually live on TV, right? Ooh, I can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So, then do you think that host had his desire taken by Alice? Absolutely. Like, what kind of professional host would do that on live TV? True. It didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Like he wasn't even there and someone else was controlling him. Exactly. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? 
Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. I see. I would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. But that would mean... Alice really... She is brainwashing people. Or she's taking people's desires. I won't say she's brainwashing, but like yeah. technically she's doing all three. Looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and... I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now... I wonder if that was all just... Lady on. <laughs> Man, that was great! That was... Alice? Quick, hide! Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice, do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. <laughs> What is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why, but after seeing that, there has to be something. You... Oh! So you want me to punish you again? Ah! Please! I'm sorry! Oh, oops! What a terrible accident! Just like what happened on set, a terrible accident. I'm still upset over it too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop! Then beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Grovel with your face all messed up with snot. I'll take another video if you'd like. Come on, beg. Do it! Do it! I'm not gonna stop until you do, got it? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out... Hey, stop! And who is this? I'm your, I'm your end, bitch. It was way too far. You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people. How the hell does that help? Uh. Oh, <laughs> we were just playing around, weren't we? Yeah. So in the car now? Oh, hey, wait! Hang on, uh, are you on Takamaki? Uh, you know who I am? Yeah, I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? Bitch, no. <laughs> you obviously got Emma, right? <laughs> My keyword is... Don't bother. I'd never accept someone who treats another person like that. Aw, too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? Yeah. No. <laughs> Aw, Absolutely bro. fucking not. Hey, hang on. You were at 705 the other day. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you? We're done here. Let's go. Yeah, this bitch. Fuck this house. Oh, that's a bummer. But I know I gave him one of my cards. You did. Why doesn't he obey? Because he can go suck a big fat one. Absolutely, like he can go suck all the dicks. And then I stormed out and we came back here. Sorry about that, by the way. I 
was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lady Ann. Once Lady Ann had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. From what we saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Is it the same as with Kamoshida? That's a good point. She seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Whatever it is, she Pass has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace and powers it. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't change Alice's heart. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Question. Why must we change Alice's heart? Because she's Why? evil bitch. Because she's hurting people. So Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No, beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario, it could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Death. Is an acceptable outcome. Oh, what, bitch? Dude, that's. I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Alice Hiraki makes people suffer every day. We should ensure she stops this as soon as possible. Why not do so? We can't. Yeah, um. It's part of Final Thief's code. We don't. We don't shoot people. <laughs> we don't kill the I do not people. understand. I want to understand. But I cannot. Th don't the be ultra. Logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being endangered. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. It's part of the Phantom Thieves Code. That's right. Kind of pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm-hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Hearts. I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. Sure, Only bitch. I can understand sure. how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it! I will join the Phantom Thieves. I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart. And about the Phantom Thieves. As long as you don't kill the fuck out someone. As long as you don't kill. Thank you. Thank you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's blowing. Um, Snowy. Cause of all the white? Sounds like a dog's name to me. It does sound like a name for a white dog, or maybe an ironic name for a black cat. What? What are you looking at me for? Maybe we should avoid picking anything that makes her sound like a pet. What if we went along the same lines we used with Mona-chan? After all, we met her inside the Metaverse the same way. Like, how about Sophie? It's basically her name! Yeah. I like it. You do? But like, you're- What? It's not your codename! I'm not- I'm the code! I'm the Sophia code in this world, and Sophie in the Metaverse. Radical, dude. Okay, don't ever say that again. <laughs> Jeez, you're already more human-like than when we first met you. 
constantly learning things, thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. I want her to say you fuck you. I want her to say okay. fuck you somewhere in the okay. game. So like, I learned how to say a cool word. What word? Fuck you. First mission. What? I'm going to stop Alice. Good. This feels like our duty, considering we became phantom thieves to help anyone suffering. I was one of those people once. You may not know the victims personally, but it would reflect on us poorly as phantom thieves to not lend a helping hand. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. You're right. We are going to be the ray of light for everyone. That even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right, the phantom thieves are back in action. I feel strong bond with my friends. Oh, yes. Path appeal. Oh, path of recovery. Oh. Oh, okay. So instead of like hanging out Our and doing all that shit, to make the proper we have to, we have bonds. It's a fact okay. that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. Since you're the guy with all the connections, we'll leave the shop into you like always. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, just hit us up. Oh, hey. really? Okay. Um, let me check the bonds for a sec. <laughs> I am. Okay, so pretty much instead of like hanging out with friends and raising up their level. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have some for that. So instead of that, pretty much we just get bond points and just use that to find whatever we want. Okay. That really takes that really takes out the the feel of it though. I love I love how we spent like 30 minutes on fucking cutscenes. Like we learned like 30 minutes on these cutscenes. Welcome to fucking persona guys. Welcome to actual fucking persona. Yeah, but notice here. No, oh, it's closed. Yeah, yeah. If that's so. Wait, so this is closed, so. Okay, so I guarantee you, there are shop sites and clothes, and we're gonna have to find like another way to like get our weapons and stuff. So if that, if that shop's closed. Cause she was one of the co she was one of like the, the confidants that we talked to, and the airsoft guy is also one of the yeah see it's close too. So they're pretty much all the confidants that we used to talk to uh, that weren't like part of the main game, that weren't like part of the Phantom Thieves. They're pretty much like you know have an excuse one. Welcome where they're gone. to the Velvet Room. The key. Oh okay. Pretty much is, they're just telling you how to like, like oh yeah you can like. Fuse the crit personas. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much. We're, we're pretty much we're going through what we Please already know. It seems that it can gain choose. Pretty which much what we already know. How to fuse personas. Is this the per Yeah. Be born pretty anew. Pretty much to tell you what we already know. How to fuse personas. That's nothing new. Honestly, like, like, like I kind of get like why they why they um back why they like you know kind of like you know run down a little bit of like the of like the features just in case like we haven't played Persona You've Five. But at the same time, it's like, if they can you clearly see it. that I beat Persona 5, then like... How much power will you add? They can clearly this is see what I beat Persona 5, and they should already like, you know, skip some of these parts. Okay. Yes. Yes, I already know all this shit. Yeah, you yeah I already know, you I already know Whenever all this you, shit, like I literally! I beat Persona 5 Royal, I platinumed it, I know all this shit, like... Yeah, it's close too. Really? What's it? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, but what we are getting is, you know what? Let's, let's go back and see like the airsoft shops closed, Takemi clinics shut down for summer vacation. Where are we gonna get our weapons and medicine now? Talk about shitty timing. This is not good. We can't just return to the metaverse defenseless. I guess we gotta find some other stores. And that seems like it'll take quite some time. What's up? Have a problem? Perhaps I can help. If you would like, I'm happy to lend a hand. Oh yeah, check this out, Sophia. We need supplies to take with us into the jail. Unfortunately, our usual suppliers are closed. This will assuredly impact our successes in the metaverse. 
Do you know if there are any suitable stores nearby? Why not just order supplies online? We could do that, but the delay between ordering and actually getting the stuff is way too long. Also, we were able to get much more effective medicines from our clinic than we could find online. No prob. The net has it all. Ryuji, is there something you want? Huh? What do I want? Right. Request anything you want. Uh, okay. A gold bar. Ugh, really? Don't be ridiculous. Ah, come on. It was just a joke. Nothing else popped into my head when she asked, so... Okay, I've got it. Please wait. Hmm? Got what? Is she really gonna... Hello? Is she... Wait! Is she really gonna own it? Well, uh, did you really order a gold bar? Oh my god, she really... Did she get ass? Uh... Like, All right, I'm ordering you a gold bar. Whoa. <laughs> well, someone should open it. Gee, this is your doing. Open it. What? Me? Uh, well... Is this even legal? <laughs> is of it? course. <laughs> wait, wait, is it, wait, wait, it is, right? Is it legal to get like a gold bar? This is probably just gonna be fake or some toy. I don't know. Oh, it's actual. Oh, it's is actual. That real? Oh, it's an actual gold Holy bar. Shit! What have I done? <laughs> yes, my eyes can't be fooled. There's no doubt. That's real gold. No way! No way is Dead that real? Ordered a oh, fuck gold bar. Now I can open my cafe early. It's like a dream. <laughs> That needs to go to the police. Right away! Oh, wait! They even believe it showed up like this? Is this a crime? It's okay, everybody! Alright, did that solve your problem? No! The fuck? How'd you do this? <laughs> I found an online vendor with expedited delivery. Time is no longer a concern. Bitch, no, are you? Bar? Where'd you find that? The dark web? Yes. Correct, Butaba. It's fine. Oh no, no it's The oh, transaction no. was made with cryptocurrency. I will send you an invoice for reimbursement. We have oh. have to reimburse you? Oh, bitch, hell the fuck, so, better check this shit back. Uh, how much did this cost again? At least a few million. Send it back? Absolutely. Send the shit Sorry? back immediately. I didn't get that. Send the other thing back! Hello, expedited pickup. Thank you for choosing our services. I'm relieved they took it back, but that definitely gave us some gray hairs. Jeez, uh, thanks a lot for ordering that, Ryuji. Oh come on! Who would have thought a gold bar would actually show up here? To be honest, one's yeah. mouth writing checks that cannot be cashed, but this is an entirely new level. Doesn't the service itself seem pretty awesome, though? That speed, it'll be perfect for anything we need. Let's ask Sophia to find some useful stuff for us. Shall I do that? Um, yeah, sounds, sounds great. Okay, I'll make sure to use expedited delivery. Sophia's shop is officially open. Okay, so instead of... Okay, so well, that was instead right. of like going but to the shop, I guess it turned out okay for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, our supply situation's definitely fine now. We don't know what we'll be up against in the jail, though. Let's prepare as well as we can. Uh. Um. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here. I love how like. What are you looking Very for? Very bad. Nothing but expedition. Which one? You want this one? Yes. Do you want to equip that? Put yes, it to good use, okay? And then health plugger. Do you want to equip that? Thanks for your patronage. Thank you. You want this one? Yes, I do. Do you want to equip that? Yes, I do. Put it to good use, okay? Okay. Oh. <laughs> you want this one? Yes, I do. Do you want to equip that? Yes, I do. Put it to good use, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so let's sell some shit. What are you selling? How many? Are you sure? Um, are you sure? Are you sure? Um, are you sure? Um, are you sure? Um, are you sure? Um, okay, let's 
uh... I should write something. Oh yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty much kind of far ahead a little bit. I'm a tad bit a little bit ahead. <laughs> oh, so much fun. <laughs> so I kind of have an idea Yo. of what to do. Alright, so that should equip all... Okay, survival vest. Boom. 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 And everything else can sell. So everything else, so everything else I can sell. I get the fuck out. Everything else is a PTFO. Um, so are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? 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 There we go. All right, it's uh. Okay. I'm finally getting some combat. Holy fuck! Finally getting some gosh damn fucking combat. Begin the operation. Our first goal would be the treasure room, yes? Of course. He's sensing something treasure like over there. That yeah, so that's, a, that's the main tower. That's, that's the main palace. That's where you were taken when they captured you, right? Yep. Yeah. Just thinking about it pisses me off. That piece of shit was so full of herself. So Alice is there now, huh? Yeah. You know, it does sort of look like a castle. A castle ruled by a monarch. So instead of being a palace, yeah. it's castle. The now? castle? Yeah, that sounds good. This jail is crawling with shadows. Okay, I'll watch your backs out there. <laughs> Sophie's inaugural heist is a phantom thief. This will be great. We don't know the opposition will face. Be sure oh my to god, Nick, yeah, let's go and fight! Oh my good fucking! Point. Oh my fucking gosh, I can bitch. <laughs> Alright, so let's get Sophia in there because she's new. Uh, act no. Let's get Makoto, Yosuke, and Ryuji. Although I do kind of like Master Arts. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's uh. Let's go keep some. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Did I get everybody or. <laughs> no, the fuck? There we go. Now let's go. Oh! No! Who's ready to die? Oh, don't tell me. Be careful. They've got serious. Yeah, they're gonna go off. Yeah, we're gonna go over ambushes. Go take them from behind. Yeah. Show and then. True self. Ambush! Oh, no, I can't. Easy. Baton pass. Yours. Let's go! But actually. Oh! Go. Oh, I become Virgil! Okay. So all I need is a lawn chair. Indeed. Oh, oh my. Oh I my gosh. Oh, oh my. Oh my gosh. Bitch. I you. played for soda already. I know what I'm doing. So after skull attack, special attack can be charged with holy wine. Okay. So I, so I charge him. Okay. What about you, Queen? Okay, so I ride Johanna to get a boost. This is our Show me a true form! Nice! Oh, that's it? That was okay. over before it started. Huh? Should have taken a nap. Good stuff, huh? guys. Keep it coming. Hmm? There's something peculiar over there. I see it. Show me your true form. That was. If only all battles were this easy. Okay, let's keep it moving. Careful, I want to touch that. Uh, nah, 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 it's a shadow. Careful, everyone. I was quite a fight. <laughs> Show me a true form. Stop. Bad, 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 bad
Now then, pass the time, the fisher! Ah, fish, you hit me! No, 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 no. No! Not much of a challenge, were they? Show me a true form! Who are you? Oh, all out of jack! Yeah. It's over. Oh, easy. Let's, let's, let's go. There we go. Seven to five. Getting spotted by one of those will mean big trouble. Surrounded in no time. Yeah, it's what you Shadows suggest. are patrolling too. No surprise. Security is tight here. Hell, tight. A frontal assault sounds like it might be out of the picture. But look at all his presents. See if we have anything else. Let's go put aside, right? Yeah, we can go to. Yeah! Just like a fan feed. Go on to the side. <laughs> Look, maybe we can get in there. Wait, if we run along there, getting in the castle should be a cinch. Yep, there's our route. But there are more search what the, Wait, what the fuck is that gun? Get past. That fucking oh, mini gun? Wait. Try sneaking past. Yeah, so pretty much don't go near the mini gun or you get fucking shot. Easy peasy, lemon fucking squeak. Oh, shit. Dude, oh, fuck. Holy shit. We can't go any further. They're firing on anything within range. Oracle, can you find a way to shut them down? Just a sec. Analyzing. The searchlight's power source is south of here. South. Yeah, which way is that? In reality, it would be somewhere around Maruku City. There must be some sort of facility providing power over there. All right, off to Maruku City. Let's move out. Copy that. Marco City. So I guess we don't. I guess I will step the entirety of the place to be in the palace. We explore like outside the palace as well. I guess because we're going to another city. So I guess we're like infiltrating the entire area too. Huh. Okay. The jail looks like Shibuya, but the layout isn't exactly the same. I'm worried we'll get ourselves lost. But we have a map. Oh, they're gonna explain. Oh, I'll tell them they're gonna explain to us the map. We're not that stupid. The fuck? Yeah, you should keep tabs on your locationer. That'll probably happen. Wow, they really have to explain to us maps. Like, like I'm some sort of idiot. Okay. Oh, Let's check it out. Well, <laughs> bye. Yo, we gotta check out shit. Maruku City straight ahead from here. I'll highlight it on your map. Sentry! Oh, the flying drones. Okay. Yeah, you don't see anything, but just go away. Ah, oh, great. Once that thing sees us, shadows are just gonna start pouring in. We should avoid all head-on conflict when possible. Life only gets harder when they're on high alert, and if we're spotted too many times, we'll have no choice but to come back later. Yeah, pretty much don't get the alert too high. Or, uh, yeah, so, so basically getting seen and all that raises the alert. <laughs> getting, getting the alert to 100% means you get kicked out of the- you get basically forced out of the dungeon. Which is almost like, a century if you're really, well. really stupid or dumb at fucking dope, that then yeah, okay. Like, I have never so known someone to it. accidentally actually get to 100%. Joker, think you could pull off an ambush from over there? Yeah, but I've had, well, like, where's my grappling hook? Like... Ambush! Show me a true force! Duh! And... All out of check! Oh, it's easy. Oh, treasure! I see a treasure chest. Magic Maybe instant. there's something good inside. Like magic oh, instant? Cool. I'll take it. The enemy hasn't noticed. Now then, tell me what good. you got. Oh, yeah. good now. And it's over. 
Oh, I really hate how they hold your hand like. Someone looks happy. That's one thing I really don't like about the Persona games. How like when you keep the guy hold your hand a little too heavy. Well, oh, after that, after that's like have fucking fun. Shit, yeah. Wait. Oh my. Okay. I really hate how they kind of like hold your hand a little bit here, trying like telling us stuff we already know. Take up those guys. Huh? Show me your true force. And? <laughs> yeah, we're done here. <laughs> we're done here. Oh. Easier than cleaning no the rage. Okay, no shadows detected here. Relevance to my interest. Huh. Must be what we need. What? <laughs> uh, more. Alice. Yeah, I know. Oh, point. Oh, my attack. <laughs> oh, Fire and thunder. Ryuji, that's you! Get up there and kick her! Oh. Sleep, okay. Yeah, sleep is self explanatory. Oh, level up! Seems I've gained new power. Oh. That takes care of that. Let's get going. Stop! Maruku City is right here! Yeah, but the gate is. On the other side of that? I don't see a way to open the gate either. Looks like we need an alternative. Such as? I don't think we'll be able to climb that. Look over there! What if we tried going up that way? At the very least, we might spot a way around this from up there. Good idea! Let's pop on up! Alright, so since I leveled up... I don't think I have the thing yet where <laughs> all everybody... <laughs> yeah, okay. So I don't have the thing where everybody in my party... Yeah, I don't have the thing yet where everyone in my party gets um, the same amount of XP or just gets XP for being in the background. So I, guess I, so I have to like manually like... I have to like manually like switch each party member to get XP. Okay. Because I think before in order to get that, it was like a cop... a... 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 Fuck, if somebody you bonded with, it was the uh, girl who played the, um, that chess mm. in the church. You bonded with her enough times, and you literally get that ability where the people in your party get the same amount of XP as if they, as if they, like, people who weren't in your party get the same amount of XP as if they were in the party. Here! So, pretty much, like, you know, so you don't gotta worry about constantly switching over to, to like, level them up to get stronger. It's like, okay, when I need you, I'll bring you out. All right. Huh? <laughs> What's that? What? That's what this place's layout. Just reading the map makes my head hurt. It doesn't know we're here. Show us your true yeah. form! Yeah. Powerful enemies in jail. Uh, and... Oh boy. What's your wicked? Uh-huh, I got it. Go, our set! What about you, Panther? What can you do? Also, same as, um... In my queen. We can do it. So we can gunfire. Okay. Hey, bitch. Oh, we're gonna go. Whee! So, oh, what? Wait, what? I can be a car. What you thought you do? I haven't played you in a Oh, to catch? Okay. Uh, the part here. Okay, so pretty much I lost it to Joker. This is Joker. I use my dark attack. And go. And go. Go. Eha. No, all attack! Huh. Too easy! 
take your heart. Ow, baby. That's a win. Okay, let's move. Oh, a shadow. What do we do? Hey, bitch. Well, an ambush, but I'll take it. Okay, for you. Okay, if I want Panther. Oh, and I'm asleep. I'm asleep. Wake up, Bill. Wake up. Oh, I see it. Damn it, fuck. Stop putting me asleep, bitch. I'll kill you. Huh? Okay, so Morgana. I'd call that an easy win. I thought no more. No time to waste. Ooh, pulser. Score. Hm. All right, so I saw that. I saw you two level up. <laughs> so what's Sophia and Haru then? Now. I've located a treasure chest. Oh, I see it too. Oh, fuck. Go up there, Panther. Oh, whoa. Ooh, that's... That's some juicy treasure. Uh oh. Oh, sexy panther. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, sexy panther. Ooh. All right, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, sexy panther. Sexy panther. With sexy panther, sexy, sexy, sexy panther. Uh, no, 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 no. What a view, huh? Yeah. Hey, what's that birdcage-looking thing there? Ooh, there's something <laughs> shiny in it. Could it be a treasure? It is. Let's go get it. No, I'm Aww. not getting treasure vibes from it. it. Looks the same, but it's actually totally different. I'm picking up a really strong reading from it. It's connected to the searchlights, too. If we take it, I think we'll cut the power to the searchlights. It seems that is our next step. Okay. Don't know how the power. fuck that makes sense, like, but I'll dig it. How do we get up that thing? Oh, bummer. I don't think I see anything resembling an entrance. Let's pop it from below. Slick plan, Joker. How so? Well, we Hello, were in the underground, underground before, remember? Waterway. Remember? All right, nice call. Huh. I was dumped this up there. Let's go back underground. That sounds like the best. Oh, wait a minute, to. or let's do. Wait a minute, we can use the underground to get back into Alice, cause did she dump us from her castle? So we can use the underground to get back into her castle. Let's tell us about the water stamina. Maybe it's time to head back. <laughs> I do, I do like the music they have for her palace. It's kind of creepy, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of cool. Uh, right, we're gonna go into underground, and we're gonna call the part there. A shadow. What should we do? We should Show do this. We should be a true force. Uh, uh, and... Be gone. That was easy. <laughs> I'm out right there, right? So open up. That was a quick one. Come on, Surprise, I'll motherfucker! Oh. And now? Three, four. That was too easy. Okay. You call that a fight? Huh, I nearly fell asleep. One moment. Something is nearby. Something? What kind of something? It is a. Space connected to somewhere. Hmm? Hey, Sophie, you're right. It's like the space here is being warped and connected to the crossing. So, as in the that's crossing safer, where man? we first entered the jail. So, if we use this, we'll go back to the entrance. Sounds like moving between the jail and the real world will make our resupply efforts at least a bit easier. That's it. I'm calling this a checkpoint. Go ahead and give it a spin so the location data registers. So pretty much, yeah, safe house. Pretty much a safe room. Yeah. Pretty much the safe room. Yeah, we don't need that just yet. Hmm. 
On this axe is super easy to swing. I guess all that firewood chopping really paid off. Where'd the, uh... Oh, oh, oh. Now's our okay. chance to ambush them. Oh, okay, so... Oh, uh, I'm what, like, should I just, just run? Yeah, I don't feel, I feel What is that? It's mine now, bitch. <laughs> Where the fuck is mine? Here we go again. Oh. Good thing we've got Joker on us. Easy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna call the part here, guys. When we come back, we'll be exploring the waterways like and fishing up Al's right palace, so we can go and kick Al Shadow Al's ass like a sewer to me. and steal her There's heart no and save the, the and save Sh Shibuya oh, from her desire. Like the fake wall for watching. Don't forget to ask her about the Kumasi guy's side. Don't forget to find and fed the thief. Wait, I should have a fed the thief name. Well. Come back to me. Like, actually, let me know in the comment section. What should be my fed the thief name? All right, peace out, everyone. Don't forget to ask her about. Ah, bye. What do you think? Could we use that to get around? Yeah, it's worth a try. 